In this video, I'm gonna cover what I believe is the number one mistake people make when running Facebook or Instagram ads and how you can avoid it. Hi there, my name is Tracy Reuter. I'm the CEO and founder of Divine Social. We're a Facebook and Instagram advertising agency, and I'm also a contributing author to the ultimate guide to Facebook ads, chapters 26, 27, and 30. So what is the biggest mistake that people make when running Facebook ads, and how do you avoid it? Well, there are a lot of mistakes that we see people make, whether it's our consulting clients, our coaching clients, or our done-for-you agency clients. But one of the biggest mistakes I see people make, hands down, is they focus only on conversion campaigns. What do I mean by conversion campaigns? I'm talking lead generation and sales. Now, don't get me wrong, that's really important, right? We're in business to make a profit, and so we wanna make sure that we are always generating leads and we're always generating sales. But you see, there is so much power in social advertising, so much power that is continually overlooked. And here's why I wanna help you to not overlook this. You see, people are getting more and more tired of advertising in the way it's always been done, right? Think about it. We've changed the way we consume ads. Nobody watches TV commercials anymore. Nobody listens to commercials on the radio. We ignore billboards when we drive down the street. People are tuning out to that. They're tired of the message that is just trying to get you to buy their stuff, right? So how do you break through that? And how do you get, um, how do you get people to pay attention to you? And how do you get them to ultimately become a lead or a sale for your business? Well, the secret to success is the way we build out all of our client campaigns, and it's using the three pillars to successful Facebook and Instagram. So we've pioneered this strategy called the three pillars, um, and it's really straightforward. It's simply focusing on three different areas of all of your paid social campaigns, okay? So again, most people only put their money behind the conversion campaigns, and they rely on other things to be able to build up the know, like, and trust factor with their clients. So what's the audience, what are the three, the three pillars? So the three pillars, started to give it away, are audience building, engagement, and conversions, right? Conversions is incredibly important. But you see, it's like a three-legged stool. If you pull any one of those out, you're, you're gonna tip over. You're gonna, you're gonna lose your balance, right? And so if you try to build an entire advertising campaign strictly on conversions, you're going to potentially lose. Or let me say it differently. You're not gonna win as well as you could. So let's talk about this a little bit. So if you've ever followed Gary Vaynerchuk and his book, Jab, 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 Right Hook, it's, it's, I feel like today it's common sense, but it's not. What he's talking about in that book is we need to give value, give value, give value before we ask, right? It's the same concept as Stephen Covey's Seven Habits of Highly Effective People with the emotional bank account, if you've ever read that book, right? You need to make deposits before you make withdrawals. I can't go to the bank today and ask for money that I don't have in there. I have to put the, I have to put the deposits in first. And so the same is true of your social ads. So the first two pillars, our audience building and our engagement is incredibly important. The first one is simple, audience building. This is often overlooked, right? People, um, they wanna have a big following, but they don't wanna pay for it, or they think that buying likes is a waste of money. Well, that couldn't be further from the truth. If you, one of the things we love about audience building campaigns is we can utilize those campaigns to test out new audiences, new people, new targeting, new interests to be able to see who's gonna resonate with your overall message, right? So that's number one, that's a great reason. Number two, when you do audience building, uh, once you have your fans, when we start to run all these other campaigns, your fans, people who are followers, those likes, they can see up to four messages from you a day versus everybody else can only see two. So there's a huge value if you're gonna be doing campaigns or launches or things later down the road. So audience building is really, really important. Then we have engagement. Engagement is putting out valuable content without really an ask, just like this, right? At the end of this video, I'm not gonna invite you to a webinar. I'm not gonna invite you necessarily um, you know, to, to buy anything from us. I'll probably invite you to follow us, right? I'll probably invite you maybe to join a Facebook group or maybe to give an offer to learn more about the three pillars, but it's really meant to be value. And so engagement campaigns are all about value. You see, people need multiple touch points before they're going to make a decision to buy from you or to give you their precious email or to opt in or whatever it might be. They need to, they need to develop a trust with you and engagement campaigns are incredible ways to do that. And using social paid advertising can amplify your message and create a 
much faster uh, relationship. It can get you from stranger to a trusted advisor much, much faster than if you're trying to do it organically, right? So if you think about engagement campaigns, think about it as paid amplification. You're taking value and you're amplifying it and you're using the incredible targeting power of the social platforms like Facebook and Instagram and you're getting that message, you're getting that engagement, that valuable message in front of the right people quicker and faster. You see, one of the things we do here at our agency is we are customer journey experts. And we really believe that if you use social ads properly, you can weave a golden thread from somebody who's never heard of you to somebody who becomes a raving fan. You can do that by using this three pillar approach. It's absolutely amazing. And our clients that implement this, we see unbelievable success in their business over and over and over again. So I just wanted to encourage you today, the way you can avoid making the biggest mistake in social ads today is to start thinking about how can you, on top of your lead gen campaigns, on top of your sales campaigns, what can you do? What types of campaigns can you be running to grow your audience, to grow your following? What types of campaigns can you do to start increasing engagement, to provide value? And in another video, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about how we take uh, engagement and we actually break it up and we use it kind of like a one-two punch and how powerful it is to grow your credibility with people who go who started out as strangers and are moving along that customer path to become rabid buyers loyal customers and brand advocates which is what we all want so I want to encourage you right now as soon as you're done watching this video sit down and start thinking about what content could I amplify what value could I put out into the marketplace and where should I be growing my audiences? How can I start? How can I start deliberately and intentionally growing my following and growing my value in the marketplace to ultimately help decrease my cost per lead, help increase the number of sales because I've put so much valuable content in front of the right people at the right time, it becomes a no-brainer. For more tips just like this, be sure to follow us on social media.